Legend of Zelda. <laughs> yeah, the Legend of Zelda. Uh, that was Dracula that said that, by the way, from the Super Show. Legend of Zelda. There's, this is a famous game, but the screen turns all strange in that waterfall title. And why did it turn strange? Because it's taken us to the wonderfully translated introduction sequence. The Legend of Zelda. Many years ago, Prince Darkness, quotations Ganon, stole one of the Triforce with power. Princess Zelda had one of the Triforce with wisdom. She divided it into eight units to hide it from Ganon before she was captured. Go find the eight units link to save her. And there is all of treasures. Heart, container heart, fairy, clock, rupai, and five rupees. Life potion, second potion, when you just can't have enough potions. Letter, food, sword, white sword, magical sword, magical shield, boomerang, magical boomerang. There's a lot of magical versions of things. Bomb, bow, arrow, silver arrow. There's the bombs up there. <laughs> bombs. And there's the, that's the lamp oil required to light those candles. That's how candles work. Rings and a power bracelet. And uh, where's the rope? Don't see any rope here. Sorry, Link. I can't give credit. Come back when you're a little... Mm, richer. <laughs> and look at that. Link himself personally telling the player to check out the enclosed instruction book if you need help getting through the dungeons. Hmm. Now, where have I seen that before? I'm sure it's just a coincidence. Yeah. That introduction sequence wasn't... Wasn't the best English in the world, was it? If you handed that in to your, your 10th grade English teacher, then, uh... And they probably wouldn't give you a hundred percent marks for that, or however they grade English, I don't know. I, I think that things are different now in school from when I was there. They've probably changed things radically now. Probably don't grade you at all, it's probably too offensive. They, they probably just, uh, they just sort of, I don't know, they just smile and nod. Anyway, now back at the title screen again. Look at all those vines covering the, the Legend of Zelda title for some reason, that marvellous sword. The, with the, the handle on it, like Link is so well known for using. Link uses that kind of sword all the time, doesn't he? There's a waterfall, whatever. Great, now, I don't know if I've ever even played this game, thinking about it now, but I'm playing it now, aren't I? Now, this, this is the file selection screen. Now, I've got to try and navigate the Nintendo Entertainment System's clunky, bad, old menu selection stuff. You've got to press the select button to, to figure out how to do things. Let's register ourselves. And, uh, what better name to... Wait, oh, I'm not st I've pressed the select button on my legitimate control pad for this legitimate Nintendo Entertainment System control system machine. PP, that's it. That's good enough for me. Oh, have I, what, have I got to put in spaces? No, that's that's the delete button, apparently. I'm sticking with PP. Yeah, the space PP, that's it. How do I, uh, how do I out of this now? All right, you've got to go down and click the register button, and then... Okay, you've got to go down. Okay, after you've put the letters in you want, you've got to press select to go down to the register button, and then that's you having registered your game. That that made sense. Wasn't confusing. Right, well, anyway, well, here we are. Link's the... Here's Link. He's off in the big world. That that introduction text was all we get. You press the start button, and you're just immediately here, nowhere. You don't even have a sword. You've got absolutely nothing. Link can go wherever he fancies to please himself. And he'll come across all sorts of nasty things that just want to dead him. And they will dead him. Very easily, with Link having no way to defend himself whatsoever. All these Arcturaks really want Link's, Link's blood. <laughs> They're so hungry, they could eat Link! Well, Link doesn't want that. No, I don't! He certainly doesn't. So, how do we deal with this terrible situation? Well, we've got to go into this black square up there, which is actually the entrance to a cave, which itself is a black square with a couple of fires and an old man saying, It's dangerous to go alone! Take this! Yeah, well, if you say so, Link needs a good companion. So he's not going to go alone, he's going to take this sword. It's a magic talking sword! It doesn't hurt anyone friendly! And there is the, the sword is now on the A button. And you can stab his sword like this. In pretty much every future Link game that wasn't on the Game Boy, or one of its uh, children, he could slash the sword to the side and do other kinds of things and hold the button down to keep it out, but no. If you hold the button down in this, he just keeps on doing this forever. You can stab in front of yourself and that's your lot. He's got a little shield, as you can see. He had the shield at the start of the game, at least. Nothing else. And the shield will block projectiles. Anyway, now we've got everything we need. We really shouldn't dally because I'm already... I'm sure it's going to take me an eternity to complete this game. This is one of the epics. It's an early Nintendo Entertainment System game, but... It's, uh, one of the... I mean, it's very famous. 
Famous for a reason, it's very long. Very long game for its time. Also very cryptic. Insanely cryptic. And that's not even on just on the second quest, which is what you get when you complete the game. Like a lot of these early Nintendo games, the first party Nintendo games, they tended to have a, a second, harder version of the game when you finish the game. Anyway, this shops. <laughs> Sorry, Link. Buy something, will ya? Mm. Uh, no thanks, Mr. Shopkeeper. But, well, as you can, we don't even have enough money to buy anything. So the, they, the, yeah. If we did have money, we could have money. We don't. 106, 160 rupees to get that shield. I picked up two. It would probably take me an hour to get that many. We're in for the long haul. But we are, like, on the world. Each screen is just a single screen. When you get to the edge of the screen, the screen moves to the next screen. Whoa, watch out for those things. When Link's got full hearts, you can see his life in the top right, he got three hearts of health. If he presses the sword button with that filled, then a sword shoots all the way to the edge of the screen. Which is nice. That'll help. But the... the, 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 the oh dear. You know what's bad though? Oh. Ah, oh, got him. Well, anyway, we've got complete free reign. Since this is a very old game, it's got no structure or anything like the old ones. You can go anywhere. We can go anywhere right now. See that big grey rectangle in the top left with the tiny green square in the middle? Well, that's the map, believe it or not. That, that, that passed for a map back then. The grey rectangle is the whole world, and that little green square is which screen we're on. So if we if we move from this screen here to, say, the, the screen above us, watch that green square up the top left. See, it moved up. Moved up pretty far as well. That's the whole world, but it's not terribly big. Also, I'm as good as dead if I don't uh, pull some extremely goodness. Which I'm, uh, well, I didn't die at least. You know what, stuff this. Let's just, uh, let's just not get killed. I'm just going to make a beeline for the first dungeon. There we go. There, and we're safe now. Everything's fine now. We're in here. If I die, then I come back here. The objective of this game is to get through all eight dungeons, or levels, as it calls it up there. Oh, I don't like this. Level dash one is where we are now. You can go to all these dungeons in any order you please, but uh, they do get harder as the numbers go up. And now, in classic Zelda fashion, we've got to find keys to unlock doors. And we find keys from doing things like destroying enemies. If we slam all the enemies in the room, we might get something special. We didn't. Too bad. Uh, but there is a door up there in the first room to unlock. We're not doing that yet. What's over on the left? Might be something. You can see in the top left again that little green square, but there's no bigger square around it to show us where we are. And that's because we don't have the map! Which tells us where we wish to go. Or whatever it was that Gwonum said. Gwonum's the name of the wizard man from the CDI games. If you didn't know that, you probably didn't. I don't know, I don't know wh why. I don't know where their names came from. I'm guessing it was in the enclosed instruction book, because they don't say their names in the cutscenes. The king is called King Harkinian. And what else? Uh, the shopkeeper, the mm, shopkeeper is called Morshu. Who knows where these names came from? I'm guessing it's the instructions. Uh, now, where are we then? We're in the next room of the dungeon. Uh, right now, I'm just sort of concentrating on not being dead. Oh, look at that, a fairy. If you grab a fairy, then she gives all your health back. I don't know how she does that, but she does. No bottles in this game, though. They didn't invent such such creative things as bottles until sequels, so we can't, can't trap the fairy in a bottle and extort her services at a later time. Link was, I guess, Link wasn't quite that cynical at this point that he'd be willing to do something like that. Well, we slammed all the enemies in here, but... Oh yeah, I didn't even notice, but we must have picked up the compass at some point, because that red flashing square up there is the boss room, and the compass tells you where the boss room is. So we know that's there. Could there be a secret here? No, there's not. Okay, fine. Well, I was trying to press the blocks to see if there was a pushable block, which there was not. Because in the first Zelda, you'll find often that there's one block in a room you can push. Only one. Only ever one per room. And that'll make something happen, but it didn't happen. We've got to get the bats now, or the keys, as they're actually called. Another famous thing about this series is that every enemy has a strange name. 
Even the ones that just look like normal things. The bats are called Keese. They're clearly just bats, but they've got a special name. I suppose that's the name they go by in Hyrule. In Hyrule? I imagine. Oh, what's this? See that door that's closed there? But it's not a locked door because it doesn't have a keyhole in it. Ah, oh, well, yeah, there we go. Look, I had to press that block. I had to push into that for about half a second, and then it moved. So it's not immediate. And what do we have in here? Eastmost Peninsula is the secret. That's excellent advice. That's top quality bargain bin David McDavidson Notch advice, my friend. Good work. Unfortunately, he'll try to kill me for doing that, so let's leave. Well, after that sterling piece of advice from that badly translated old man, let's just forget we ever talked to him and go over here and finish the rest of the dungeon ourselves. Whatever on earth he was trying to say was something that that was completely useless to us. If it even did make any sense in the Japanese version, it doesn't here. We picked up the map there. That was the map. I'm the map. The map says to Link. That's what the map says. I assume. It's too bad we didn't get the Zelda CDI people to... It's too bad we didn't get the Zelda CDI crew to animate the cutscenes to this. That would have been something. Sadly not. Sadly, Nintendo never brought them back for some reason. Where are we? Well, and you can see on the map up there, we're the green square inside the, that bunch of blue bricks, which are the rooms. Each blue rectangle is a room. It's insanely basic when you look at it now. There you go. We are, we are not heading towards the boss, though. We're going somewhere else. I don't know where we're going, but there must be something there, right? Well, we'll find out. Maybe it's the dungeon item. Every dungeon has an item in it. <coughs> there, yeah. Oh, a key, thank you. Those were moblins, by the way. Which are uh, bear pig men. I don't really know. Oh, oh. it's those things. It's the, it's the swooshers. They want to get, like, swooshed. Well, actually, maybe this does lead to the boss, because it is, uh underground thing e one of these will be pushable it's that one. Oh, it's not the boss it's the item yes and it's the bow once we pick this bad bow up I was thinking that bat down there would hurt me but no once we pick that up we can fire arrows except actually we can't because we've got to buy the arrows believe it or not we've got to purchase those from the shop and I think they cost a lot of money. Am I remembering that right? I don't even remember. Like I said, I don't think I've ever played this. I think I did years ago. I got it on the Wii Virtual Console. And that was the last that I ever dealt with this. But I'm going to be dealing with plenty of it now, that's for sure. Well, that one mercy of this game is that all the enemies that you defeat in the earlier rooms are gone for good. They're not coming back. That's much appreciated, Nintendo. Always thinking of the players. Yeah. Take that! <laughs> That's not Link's voice. Rob's the one that played Link in the Zelda movie. Ah, oh, I've got no rats. I've done nothing but Hotel Mario voices for all this time. I don't know how to do this. Oh, look at that though. We got a new item from that thing. It's the it's the boomerang. There we are. The boomerang flies away and comes back to us wherever we send it. Quite nicely animated as well. Very smooth animation in the boomerang for a 1986 game as this. The boomerang doesn't kill things, but it does stun them, as you see. Like these hands, which which are called wall masters. They're the masters of these walls. Well, and uh, they're also the masters of something else as well. If they grab Link in their blue, creepy handness, they'll carry him out of the dungeon, and you've got to start all over again. We don't want that to happen, so we're going to make sure that does not happen. There we go. Got a decent haul of money from this. We've got thirty rupees. That's that's nearly twenty percent of the of the money it cost us to buy the shield that we already own in that shop. Anyway, it's the first boss. It's the green eight-bit dragon that just does the same thing over and over again. How will we ever win with our supercharged sword thing? Well, we'll soon find find phone phone do old what? Yeah, he's dead. It's a unicorn as well. I know it's the unicorn dragon. Curious. We got a heart that gives us an extra maximum hearts up there, which is what we like to see. And now we get a piece of the Triforce. That was the Hotel Mario voice. Dearie me. Yeah. That was nice. A lot of things from this first game have carried over into the series, like the theme tune, the the way Link raises his arm up when he picks things up, and. The, 
the da 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 noise when he gets something that is desired. And the, what else is well, a lot of things have carried over. Nintendo, Nintendo back back in the old days, they Nintendo really innovated and created radically weird new things that nobody had ever seen before, like this. And then they spent the rest of their careers just just leeching off of that, really, with uh, with fairly small changes over the years. <laughs> Link's not really changed drastically much since his early days. Okay, that's that's a pretty ridiculous statement, but uh, like they certainly um, what would you say? A lot of the mechanics and things have 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 continued from the earliest days in a lot of Nintendo's main series, is like Mario and and uh, this and Metroid and whatever else. The basic nature's stayed the same, but. Where on earth am I going? I don't even know. I have no idea where the second dungeon is. I, oh wait, I'm in the maze now. Yeah, that's right, this is Death Mountain, I believe is the name of it. It's a maze, and I don't even know how you stop it. Oh, that's how. I'm pretty sure that wherever we are, we're in the wrong place, so let's get out of here. I knew where the first dungeon was, but I don't know where any of the rest of them are. So this is already... This is certainly going to be an experience. I'm, I'm not going to look up a guide or anything like that. I'm just going to bluster my way through this like I always do. Well, you know what? I think I know that the first dungeon is at least somewhere in this lower part of the map. It's not up in the hills up there. Ooh! It's not in the, it's not in the hills, it's somewhere down here. I don't know where though. But we're going to find it by goshness, by gardness. Link's not going to give up. Link never gives up! Yeah! How about a kiss? Ugh. Now, what are these? These are called levers, these things. These blue... Uh, they look like rooks from chess. These blue things are just poking out of the sand. Which, this this stuff's sand, by the way. This 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 beige stuff with little brown dots on it. That's a beach. A desert, rather. This is the desert, I guess. And why am I even slamming all these things? They're not giving me anything. They, they didn't give me a thing. That was worthless. We can't even kill these the pea hats. Ugh. Which make them one of the most annoying enemies. Oh, these aren't things that I want to be seeing. Ugh. Ah, the stopwatch freezes everything. That's an item that never came back, isn't it? They 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 abandoned that after this game. Pretty much everything in this game returns in the future ones. Like all the items that Link picks up come back, but not the Well this not the stopwatch. Anyway, at least we can get some bombs for Moshu. Finally got some bobs. They're useful. We can use those to blow up holes and discover secret passages, which is what we're going to be trying to do. What, what, be, this, because this is the first Zelda, though, an old game, what that means is that we're going to be bombing just random walls and completely random places, just hoping that we find something that we need to find. That is, that is actually, honestly, what that involves, for the most part. Whoa. The... This game's got a way of showing you how hard enemies are. Like, the, the basic enemies tend to be orange, then the harder ones tend to be blue. I've noticed that. That's something to pay... That's something to keep in mind. Ah, good. That's what I wanted to see. Good. Well, <laughs> we're back to the entrance to the... Wait, we're not back to the entrance to the first dungeon. Where on earth are we? I don't even know. But at least, you know, aimless wandering isn't a bad thing in the original Zelda, because unlike the... Unlike the likes of Twilight Princess, where you get so much money thrown at you that you're never going to have any problem with it. And unlike this one, you, you really need to work to save up money at all. So, all the, all the mindless wandering is actually a good thing. It's not like in Twilight Princess, where you get so much money. Like, the, the game in the series that throws the most money out of all of the games in the series at you. And yet, it's the one where if you pick up a treasure chest with money in it, and you don't have enough space to hold it, the game refuses to let you keep it, and it f just puts it back in the chest, as if you'd actually want to come back to collect it later. I don't get that. It's the one game that did that in the whole series, and it was the one game that didn't need to do that the most. If there was any game that didn't need to bother keeping you from taking money out of chests, it was that one. But that's what it, oh, I, I want that. It's the blue one. The blue one gives you five. Whereas the ones that flash, the ones that look all pretty and flashy, give you one. <laughs> the ones that, that just have the same blue colour the whole time, they give you more money. This is suspicious to me. Hmm. 
Really? There's nothing? Oh wait, probably... I think you've got to kill all the enemies before you can push these things. But in any case, it's not helping. I've been tempted to use the bombs on that thing up there as well. Let's give it a try. No, I didn't think... Oh well. Where are we going now? Where's the thing we want? The... The... Well, don't worry folks, I'll find it eventually. I'm gonna show... I mean, alright, I'll probably cut out some of the aimless wandering eventually, but for now, since it's just the start, I'll just show all of this, why don't we? Let's see if we can get to the entrance to the first dungeon. Let's at least do that. I mean, the second dungeon, sorry. Have I been over here? Yeah, I, I think so. Doesn't really matter either way. What a oh, Did you see the rock deflect off his shield there? We used the shield to block that. We didn't, I, didn't have, I didn't actually have to press a button, but he does that. He blocks stuff with the shield. I don't know if he can block the those balls from the water creatures, which are called Zoras. That water thing is a Zora. Let's go over here. Ah, what do we have here now? What's up there? What's in this? Yeah. Hmm. Whoop. What's in this thing? Hello? It's got absolutely nothing to say whatsoever. Sure. Why not? Hmm, I was checking my inventory because I think this. I know what I've got to give that woman. You've got to give her something before she'll say a single word. Whoa. Now, this is the Lost Woods. And I know we don't need to be here. So. We're going to go down, because I know that the Lost Woods is not down. It's left and up, but not down. Hmm, that tree looks suspicious, but we don't have the thing that you need to have to, to burn trees down. Which is another thing that our righteous hero Link does all the time. Oh, what's this? This looks nice. Stuff that. What's in here? Please be a... It's the third one. Well, you know what? The third one, as I was saying earlier, it doesn't really matter what order you do these in. So sure, the third one, why not? Let's, let's do level three now. You wouldn't get this in the later games. I think, by, in fact, even by the sequel to this, even the second game, Zelda The Adventure of Link, you you had to do the dungeons in the, the prescribed order. You couldn't go out of order. They certainly wouldn't let you go out of order in Link to the Past onwards. Or at least you certainly weren't supposed to. In the first game, it's really just a bit of a free-for-all. I mean, I think there's some dungeons where you need to have certain items to complete them. I think. But not all of them. Ugh. And we're going to just hope that this is not one of them. I can't remember what the item is that you get in the second dungeon, but... Eep, there. Oh, oh, oh. Can't remember the item you get in dungeon 2, but I don't think it was insanely important. Oh, it's the Dark Nuts. The Dark Nuts, which are knights. Dark Knights. I think they were supposed to be called Dark Knights, but the man the manual, the enclosed instruction book that Link told us to check out calls them Dark Nuts instead, by mistake. And so they've stuck with that translation mistake for the whole series. Not that anybody cares about the names of these stupid things, mind you. I see, yeah, they've, they've stuck with the, these, they've stuck with the names of these enemies to the series. I think to this very day they still call them Arcturaks and Leavers and Tech Tykes and stuff, but uh, I think most of those names were just dodgy translations. That's that's how most bad, that's how most stuff was back in these old games. It's all just terrible translations usually. I usually just assume they are anyway. So they'd almost certainly give most of these enemies different names if they named them now, but they don't bother. Of course, they wouldn't give them any names if they named them now, because even naming enemies at all is a really old-fashioned thing. They've just sort of stuck with them with the Zelda series. Ah, the compass good. I'm wary of my extremely low health. At least, if you leave these bats to fly around for an eternity, seemingly, they'll eventually slow down. Yeah, there we go, eventually. It took you long enough, Mr. Bat. Jeez Louise. They do slow down eventually, but... Could you... Yeah... These things aren't so nice because they don't give you any health or nothing. Come on. Eh, yes. Inside that. Nothing from killing them. Not more of you. Well, we've probably got to beat them to get into the door down there. That's unfortunate. 
because my health isn't so great and there's an awful lot of these bunchers and they're also closing in. Well, let's see if we can uh, just take them out one by one as the... Oh, <laughs> well we can't, that's the answer to that. How sad, well, that's the first death. We're going to continue regardless. And we start back at the start of this. With all of our money, they don't take away the money or the items. And they give me three of my four hearts, which is also very merciful of them. They could have done much worse stuff than that, that's for sure. So those dark nuts take away a full health of of, uh, of health, a full heart of health, which isn't very nice. But they are one of the stronger enemies in the game, so I should have expected as much. Let's take a different room first, why don't we? What's up here? Uh, well, a whole load of locked doors. Three out of the four doors are locked. That's another thing, every room in the dungeons in this game has the same basic layout. They're all just this rectangle like this, with the four walls. And there can be a... Each, each wall, each, each one of the sides of the room could have a door on it, or it could not. It just depends on how the... how reality feels. How Shigeru Miyamoto felt, because he was probably the only person that programmed this game. Just like Super Mario Brothers, it was probably all him. Wouldn't be surprised. Oh, bombs, good. Except not good. I've got the maximum bombs. I've got eight bombs. You can't have any more. Well, they just give me that here. Just gave me that key. Thank you. Didn't even have to slam the enemies. In fact, I doubt there's even a reason to slam them. I feel like slamming them, though. Just... <laughs> Did you see that? I just smashed that slime all the way to the end. Oh, no. When that flashing ball hits me, it doesn't hurt, but you lose the ability to use your sword. I don't know. Well, didn't last long. I've got it back already, but that was... While it lasts, it's not nice. Wee yo uh, hey. Ugh. Let's just get this one. Come on. Well, I got nothing for that. Ugh. Let's go down here. Where's this? Is this that room? It is that room. I thought so. Well, I know a trick with these guys. The bombs didn't do a single thing, but I think the bombs are good for them. I think the bombs do a good job. If used correctly. You've got to use the bombs wisely to get these things to be defeated with them. Which I'm obviously not doing. Let's see if I can... I can't. Let's see if I can do it correctly this time. Hey, it worked, yeah. And now, a much needed heart. Thank you. Whoa. Let's, uh... Eee. I don't want to waste all the bombs, mind you, so... That's the last you're going to see of those bombs for a little while, at least. Oh, well, speak of the bombs. There. Let's have that. Good. This is going very well. It's not going so well now. Ugh. I can't tell how these guys move. What's their logic? They don't, they, they're not coming towards me, except they do. It seems like they keep going the way they're going. And then, like, after a few steps, then they turn round to get me. Really crafty little things. See that? Oh, you can't possibly win now. Oh, that didn't even kill him. Well, finally, we get to go down here. Let's see what's here. What awaits us? <laughs> More of you twerps. Get stuffed. I'm not dealing with you. Have that. Oh, of course, they've gone away over to the... Of course, they're blocking the staircase. Look at look at this. This is insane. Uh, I wish you'd not done that, but you did it. Yee, I don't like this. I don't like the way they're all ganging over here. Oh, I want that heart, but I'm not taking it. What's down here? Okay, well, as long as the keys don't get me, I can at least get the dungeon item. There, excellent. It's the raft. Which is one of the things they didn't bring back. Most of the items came back in future ones, but... They're not the raft. I, you know what, I don't think they've ever brought that back. Well, it did come back in the sequel to this, but nobody talks about that one, except me. I like the sequel. I'll be doing that at some point. It's a very unpopular one. Because it's very weird. Just like Super Mario Bros. 2, Nintendo took this series and... Nintendo decided to make the sequel be really strange compared to everything else in the whole series. Ooh. Whoa. They had a habit of doing that, it seems, in the early days. Well, of course, the of course the sequel to this, Zelda 2, was what uh, well I should have been able to avoid that really. The sequel to this 
was what brought us the the gameplay style that they used in the CDI games. That's how that's how they play. It's the side-scrolling 2D platformer. Exactly. Well, it's exactly the same, with the exception that the CDI version is much much clunkier and slower, and I think in most people's opinions, much worse as well. I think even the people that hate Zelda 2 like it better than the, the CDI games. I've never played the CDI games, which is outrageous, I know. You'd think I would have, but no, I've not, shockingly. And when I say the CDI games, I mean two of them, because there were three CDI games. I don't know how well known this is, but the CDI games that all of the famous cutscenes came from is only two of them. There was a third one, which which is really obscure. Nobody knows about that. It was a third one, which was much more similar to the traditional Zelda. Although it wasn't really, it was trying to be much more similar, but it's it's just nothing like them at all. But that's one where that's one where they got live action, real life actors to act out the cutscenes, which you'd think would be a recipe for. You'd think that would make it even better, wouldn't you? For with a CDI, <laughs> the CDI's uh, actors. But no, nobody's nobody cares about those. They're not worth seeing. It's quite sad, really. But there you go. Well, I'm glad that I got the stopwatch. Ooh. Also, are we heading for the boss? I mean, once you've got the special item in the dungeon, all you need to do is go for the boss. Also, this level's quite... this dungeon's quite famous for one other thing. If you have a look at the map at the top left, it looks like a swastika. The Nazi symbol. It's been getting a rap for that for a long time. It's actually based on a Japanese Buddhist symbol, I believe, the Manji. But... It just so happens that the Nazis figured that it would be a good idea to use a, a symbol of peace for their symbol as well. Which made sense, I'm sure. Much like a, like an advertising agency when they choose the company's logo. They want to make themselves look good, you know. The Nazis wanted to present the Nazis wanted to present themselves as as well as they could, you know. Respectable bunch. Just like uh, just like McDonald's would do, or any other company. Make themselves look good. Now, we've gone into the Oh you know what, that marker isn't the boss. It doesn't show you where the boss is, oh brother, I think I'm out of my depth here. Uh, the uh, the marker doesn't show you the boss, it shows you the... The room of the Triforce, which is always the one immediately after the boss. Oh dear. I, uh, I, I, this is bad. Because I know what happens, and it takes out one heart with each hit too. Have we got anything to help? We've got the boomerang, does that do anything against this thing? Uh... I, well, if I can hit him with it, maybe I'll discover... I mean, I'm dead, but no, it didn't do anything. This isn't good, but we're gonna give it a good old Link try. <laughs> that old monster's no match for me! Oh, whatever. What's this thing's name? Because this thing will have a name too. Oh, there. I think it might be Manhandla. I think that's its name. Well, that went swimmingly. Uh, the, the, blah, 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 blah. What's to be done with this then? Well, I think, uh, uh the, oh, I don't know. You know what, I'll be back once I've, uh, once I've got what I think I need to possibly beat that thing. So, until next time, folks, farewell. <laughs>